hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss another important topic regarding dynamics 365 customer engagement called as knowledge management while working with cases there are many times a customer representative or a customer care representative can open the case record and he tries to resolve the case by referring the knowledge base articles that your company published every time a case is raised in the system the customer representative or the customer care can refer any type of knowledge base to refer for the resolution of the case if such kind of let's say need service feature question this kind of case gets raised in the system again and again then your business creates a knowledge base article with some details information to resolve the case without uh, making any delay so that once the uh, article is published then the uh, customer care representative can refer to the knowledge base by going to the knowledge search section here in the service model and he can search a specific keyword here so that the related knowledge article will display for the user and uh, they can refer the steps that has been depicted in the article and they will proceed resolving the case without waiting for other team to uh, uh, give confirmation on the resolution so they can refer any knowledge base that is related to a case resolution so now how this article gets created in the system how the article management works in real world in dynamics 365 so let's get started so first we will see uh, how this article management happens in service customer service hub module first we have to create a article you can see my image here in this graphics you can see here first we have to create an article in draft state and once the article is created in the draft state we have to send someone we will we will change the status of that article to needs review and we will assign this a particular article to that person who will review the article then the reviewer will pick the article and he will change the status of the article as in review and in the review process of the approver or the reviewer he can reject the article or approve the article once he will reject the approval or the uh, reject the article that article will go to the draft state and the uh, owner of the article will again re-edit the article then again they will, the flow will work again he will send for the review process and reviewer will again pick up the article and review once it is approved reviewer approves the article then it will goes to the mark article for translation now once the reviewer is okay with the content that has been declared in the article then the reviewer can raise a article translation request for any other language if he wants then once it is translated then the article will be available for use and we can publish the article on portal also so this is the whole life cycle of article management or uh, knowledge management concept in dynamics 365 so we will see that how we can work on in real world by creating an article now I am the uh, user of my Dynamics 365 customer service hub. I can create a new article. Let me create a new article here. I am giving a, uh, a title of this article here. Let's say, uh, let's say Canon printer dead issue. And once I have given this title, I can give the keywords because these keywords will be used whenever someone wants to someone wants to search the knowledge article by giving some keywords like i want to give canon and i want to give printer printer dead and i want to give another uh, keyword like printer issue okay now i have given three keywords here with comma separated okay now this is business recommended uh, it's not mandatory but it is business recommended 
now I can give a description here this article this article is used for resolving Canon printer dare issue right so once it is given I can click on save for now now as soon as I will save the content designer will open for me so that I can put my content here this is a flexible or elegant uh, content editor given designer with three modes designer HTML and preview now let me design something here let me write down uh, Canon so I am right I am writing down the content of this article dead issue and here I want to write something please follow the steps below to resolve the issue I want to write down some list here so I can specify a list here okay now switch off or restart let me open the tray and clean it number two disconnect from power supply and let me write down something uh, in next point then reconnect printer okay once all steps i'm just writing the article okay not nothing else uh, then i will edit this once all steps are done then the issue will be resolved okay now once it is done i i want to stylize something i can i can select this and i can make it as a, a bold heading Okay, I want to make edge heading one. I want to increase the size. Okay, and I want to change the size also. Okay, and I want to make the color. So this is a very you know uh, rich text editor that is given. So we can colorize and we can do whatever uh, steps I want to do. Okay, I can also change the size here. Okay. Now once it is done you can also add pictures here okay let me uh, click on the picture here i can use web address or i can upload any file let me use a web address canon printer so this is how we normally how uh, the articles are created let me click on image and click on this image okay i can copy so use this copy image address I can go here and use the image address here okay now I can now it is automatically uh, giving here the preview I can click OK now I can make it smaller and I can drag it below okay now this is how we can we created this and I can see the pre HTML preview if you want to directly edit the HTML you can do that here and if you want to see preview then you can see here and in desktop it will look like this the article in the tablet it will looks like this and in the mobile it will look like this anyway so uh, once the preview is done and you are okay with the article the next thing is you have to save this so here the workflow stats once you are ready with the, with your content you have to you have to first assign to a user and change the status as need review here you can see you can click on needs review once change the status and save it you are the owner right owner of this article right as i have created i am the owner of this article now i can assign this to someone I can click on click on this assign okay so before I will do anything here I will just click on assign because I have changed the status as needs review I can assign to a user 
and the user is a knowledge manager i will i'll go down and search for the user so this is the user i want to assign and i have changed the status as needs review now once i have uh, assigned this uh, to the user and changed the status of the uh, article edge status region or needs review then i will go to the other users window and uh, he will just open the customer service hub and here he can click on this dashboards and uh, here you will find in the my knowledge dashboard this article that has been created by the by me will be displayed in this knowledge manager dashboard and this person sudhir is knowledge manager so now he can open this article and once this article will open he can review if everything is fine or not in the content wise okay if there is anything uh, any problem then he can rectify here also otherwise he can send some comment to the person now once all okay he can the knowledge manager can approve this okay so there is a approve button he can approve this click on this approve so the knowledge manage, manager will approve this and once it is approved now he can publish this approved article now once this is article once the article is published so let me see if the article is displaying in my window or not so i will click on knowledge article i can see now in all articles and the article is this one now it is approved now owner is the knowledge manager now i can approve this sorry once it is approved i can publish this if there is any issue then you can just click on revert to draft now it will be draft state then you can edit that okay now once it is done i can publish this now you can specify when you want to publish uh, whether you want to publish in future or you want to schedule it or you want to uh, publish immediately and publish the status whether you want to publish as a needs review or updating uh, you can specify the status here also so click on published now once it is published i can give the expiration date of this article if you keep it blank then it will active forever okay now there is another concept inherit product association from related primary information for example sometimes the articles that you um, uh, create create uh, you can associate a specific product okay maybe this article uh, may be a generic article for this type of issue otherwise you can click on related products okay and you can associate the related products for this uh, article okay if you go here related you can see here there is a uh, issue called as relate product if you want to relate product to this case then uh, for that products only this case will be available but if it is generic then you can you are not supposed to click on this uh, relate product okay so if you relate product then every time you create a case in the system uh, using that product then this case or this article will automatically assign to that case so anyway you can uh, revert to draft also to this uh, approved article and you can publish this so until unless this article is published you cannot search in this knowledge search section okay now let me publish this now click on this and click on all articles click on my article i can publish this so publish now once it is published i can go here to the knowledge search and i can search here by giving the keyword canon printer i'll say i want to search by canon then this article will be searched now i can click this i can see my article here now i can get information from these steps that is explained to resolve this case in this specific case and i can also print this uh, uh, you know uh, print this article if i want okay and also the most important thing is i can associate this case this article with a case for example let me create a case uh, let's say this let me create a case and uh, i'll give a title canon 
dad and here i will specify a case specify a customer here and i will click on save as soon as i will, I will click save then i can search the related articles by going to the right navigation here knowledge option here i can search the canon and i can see this uh, article is auto auto populated because of the keyword i can now click on this link this article to this current record so once i clicked this link button then the case is the article is linked to the case now i can open this uh, uh, article with respect to this case and i can take uh, inputs or take the help topics that is written and i can specify the case resolution process okay so now this is the whole life cycle of the uh, you know uh, case management i mean knowledge management in service module customer service hub so we can we can create many knowledge articles and get it reviewed by our senior knowledge managers then we can publish that and we can so others can search that okay or the customer care people search that and resolve cases quickly okay now thank you guys so this is how we can manage knowledge articles uh, using knowledge management concept in dynamics 365 customer service hub so if my videos helps uh, please subscribe my channel and also uh, give me a uh, thumb symbol and like this video thank you